We never thought that we would come here and this game would be easy. We knew they would fight. We knew they would, uh, they would, they would test our principles in our zone. They did a really good job of, um, of uh, spreading the ball around and, and screening in forwards and trying to skip deep corners. So they, so, so they do some things that are, that are very effective against the zone. And uh, you know, they, they just did a really good job of just attacking us um, in the half court. I thought that we were able to you know, get our pressure up. And a lot of times for our pressure, it's not really about forcing turnovers. It's, it's about creating tempo and not having a guard that sets in half court for over 20 some odd seconds. And so our pressure was effective once we started making shots, but I knew that, you know, this would be this kind of game and it would be a tough game and we would have to gut one out. And, you know, a lot of credit to Fordham for being a, being a tough, well-coached, very disciplined basketball team. But, you know, our kids did what we had to do to win and we're looking forward to Monday. We'll take questions for this. Down by. We'll take, we're doing questions for the student athletes I'm first. so sorry, my apologies. Tiana and Gabby, uh, you're down by one after the first quarter. You come out, explode, go on a 16-2 run in the second quarter. Uh, what did, what was your mentality going into that second quarter? Either of you could start. Well, I feel like you know we hadn't played a real game in two weeks, so I think you know getting back into the flow of things was a little bit difficult. Um, but you know after that first quarter and after the half, you know we came out and we knew. This is the tournament, it's going to be up and down, and we knew that we just had to come out and give it our all, and, you know, we started doing things that we do right, you know. Yeah, you know, just to piggyback off what you said, we just had to really knock the rust off a little bit, you know, had to get in the flow of the game, and once we got in the flow of the game, we were fine, like you said, we won a 16-2 run, uh, I feel like that was a good quarter for us, you know, so <laughs> runs like that is what we need, so we just really had to shake the rust off and really lock in to what we what we normally do and play with ourselves. Graham, uh, Tiana, you, you mentioned the Russ, and I, I guess you know, leading up to the game, when you ask about Russ and the layoff, you, you, players like to play that down, like, oh, it's no big deal. But then when you get out there and you feel like there is a little bit of a rust, what, what do you think that shows the most? I mean, is, do, you feel like, do you feel it coming, or is it kind of like there when you start to take jump shots or make plays? What does the rush show up the most, do you think? I would say more just, you know, the dome is kind of hard to play in, so I know it's very inside breathing, just getting tired, your legs under you, just those kinds of things, as well as you not know, making shots. Um, at the beginning there, I know I wasn't making many shots, and yeah, just really yeah, getting the flow and just getting back into the game. Uh, my uh, Tiana, at the end of the first quarter when you hit that one, you know, jump right at the free throw line, you know, did you have kind of a feeling where, you know, you felt like you wanted to just take over the game a little bit? Uh, no, not at all. It was never a time where I was like, I need to take over. Um, everyone was contributing and everyone was doing their part. And I think Gabby hit a couple of threes there at the beginning to get us off as well as Digna. So, um, yeah, I never thought I need to take over or this is, you know, I, I, th I thought we were all pretty good. AJ in the back. <coughs> AJ Fabry, Citrus TV. Uh, Gabby, three for four from three today, and you've kind of been that role player all year, uh, shooting when you need to and then making plays defensively. How much pride do you take uh, being that person that can kind of spark the offense or defense whenever it's uh, whenever you're called upon? Uh, I take a lot of pride in it, you know. Um, my name's not always, you know, in the, the light, but that's okay. You know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with just playing my role, you know. Every team, every good team needs good role players. So I like to just step up when I'm needed. Gabby, did you did the team make any changes in the defense? Did you guys push the um, press up at all in the second quarter, or did you just like kind of finding the ball better? Um, yeah, I mean we we didn't make any changes. We knew what our game plan uh, game plan was. We knew what presses we were going to run against their different uh, press offenses. So we really didn't change anything. We just like I said, not really knocked the run stop and really just locked in. Like okay. It's game day, you know, we haven't played in two weeks, but I feel like after that first quarter, it really, really hit us, like, okay, time to go. So. In the back. <clears throat> um, Tiana, of course, last year, I know you guys can't wait to get that out of your minds, uh, first mm -hmm. round of the tournament, but could you just feel the difference playing here in front of the home crowd? I mean, it seems like they were standing the whole time going nuts, and I mean, just the difference between last year and this year, and, and how much you were looking forward to this game. Yeah, it was a big difference compared to last year. Um, you know, we had to travel down to Mississippi and um, as well, you know, playing at home, sleeping in your own bed. Um, 
just that kind of stuff is great feeling and the fans were great tonight and I really appreciate everyone for coming out and supporting us. Um, you know, we don't get that often and knowing that we matter to them, it's a good feeling. Tiana, anybody that follows college basketball knows what you do, but in the tournament time, maybe sometimes you get casual fans or people write they put a lot more emphasis on what happens in the postseason, you know, you call the championship. Uh, when you have a showcase like this, do you feel it's even possible for you to pick up a game even more because you were just a little bit shy of a triple-double today, you were just doing Tiana things? I mean, do you feel like, hey, I'm going to take over here? Uh, not really. I feel like every game is, I can get better. So I feel like, yeah, I did good tonight, and I just hope that the next game I can do better. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with the mental side of things during the game. Um, and not, you know, missing a lot of shots and getting your head down, just mentally staying focused. And no, I for sure, you know, I think everyone in the whole team really can every day get better. So. Hey, Callum Watson, uh, Newhouse Sports Media Center. Uh, this question is for both of you. Uh, you both combined for 34 points. I know you had 21, Gabby, you had 13. So what made you both, uh, or what were they doing that made you both so effective tonight? Things, too many things that they were doing in particular defensive wise that was making us more better offensively. I feel like we just hit shots. For me, uh, they were going under ball screens, so that's when I was I had made those two threes, um, as well as attacking the rim, which is really what I do. So yeah, just playing my own game and as well, you know, getting everyone else involved, um, taking the light off me a little bit, and then being able to attack when they're not ready. Yeah. Uh, this is for both of you. Obviously, 21-point victory, but the score is not really indicative of how tough a game it was. And Tiana, you mentioned the rust early. Um, how important is it to kind of pass uh, an early test uh, to prove down the road that, hey, you guys are, are prepared for a, a deeper run in this tournament? I think it's extremely important, um, especially this time of the year. A lot of teams sometimes take their seed for granted and, you know, come out there and don't do as well. And I think, you know, we knew that. And so we just knew that we had to focus and not let an upset happen. And I think that's what helped us.